It's Shannon here back with another tutorial on the Data Professor YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could replicate the building of a Streamlit application from one of the tutorial of this YouTube channel. And so you'll notice that in the GitHub repo of Streamlit applications built in this channel, I'm going to provide you all of the raw materials that you need from the application.py file, any corresponding notebook that was built precursor to the building of the application itself, all of the data that was used in the building of the application, and also any illustrations or logo used in the application, as well as some of the library prerequisite that we put in to the requirement.txt file. And so all of these are provided so that you could reproduce the Streamlit applications built in the tutorial. And so let's have a look at this GitHub README. So I'll provide you the step-by-step -step instructions of how you could actually reproduce the application. And so this is going to be the first video that I've made to show you explicitly how you could actually go about building those applications. And so, for example, in this video, we're going to use this as an example. So you could feel free to select another Streamlit tutorial from this channel that you would like to replicate and then follow along. Okay, so typically the first step that we're going to do is to install the Conda environment. And so one of the questions that I was recently asked is, do you have to install this Conda environment each and every time that you follow a tutorial? And so the answer that I provided was yes and no. Yes, meaning that if the particular application makes use of some unique libraries that might interfere or which might downgrade some of the libraries that are used in other tutorial. And therefore, in that case, it would be nice to create a dedicated Conda environment. However, if the applications that we're building is using the same libraries used in previous application that you are following from the tutorial of this channel, then therefore no, meaning that you would not have to recreate the environment again and again, because essentially we're going to use the same Python library. And so in the prior video, I've shown you how you could create a Conda environment called Sandbox using specifically Python 3.7.9. And so please refer to that video for instructions on how to do this particular step. And the link is in the video description. And therefore, we're going to proceed to the next part, which is to activate the environment and proceed to the following steps of installing the prerequisite libraries. So let's go back to here to the terminal and also the code editor. So let me close this and let's create a directory. Let's call it demo, but you could call this anything else that you like. Or how about this? I'll call it bioactivity demo because I think I have a bioactivity folder somewhere. Yeah, right here. So I call it bioactivity demo and then I'll change the directory into there. One moment, let me get a, so let me plug in the power. All right, and so let's continue. And so the next step is to install the prerequisite libraries. So what we do here is we're gonna copy this. We're actually, you could just hover to the right and then you could click on it and then it's copied. And so what this will do is it's going to download the requirement.txt file. Let's do that. Okay, let's out S to have a look at the files here. And so you see that there's the requirement.txt file here. And now we're going to pip install it. You could just copy this, paste it, pip install dash r requirements.txt. Okay, like this. Enter version sub process. Okay, so I guess the other prerequisite has already been installed, except for this one. Sub process probably is already from the Python standard library, and so you cannot find it. Let's proceed to the next step. Okay, so you want to download and unzip contents from the GitHub repo. So you want to download this. So actually, what you could do is click on the code here, and then you could right click on download zip file, right click, and then copy link. Okay, and then go back to the terminal, and you want to type in wget, so it's going to download it. So wget will download the file if you provide the link to it. So now you see that there's the main.zip file. Let's unzip it. And so we have here the bioactivity prediction app-main. So you want to change to that directory. Go in. So all of the files are here. Let's go back here for instructions. Generating the pkl file. 
the machine learning model using this app will firstly have to be generated by running the Jupyter Notebook file here. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see, we have to run this file. So let's see, do I have Jupyter installed here yet? Yes, Jupyter is already installed. So I'll type in Jupyter Notebook. And so make sure that you type in Jupyter Notebook in the same directory as the notebook file, the same directory as this file, bioactivity prediction app. Dot IPYNB as I have already done so. And now we're going to see that the notebook is present in this working directory. Okay, so you want to click on it. And so you just run all of the cell. Okay, so we we'll just run all of the cell. Shift enter for all cells. Oh, we haven't defined it yet. Oh, okay. So we haven't really installed scikit-learn. Let's do that. Let me shut down the notebook and then we're going to install scikit-learn so you could do this by typing in pip install scikit-learn see did i install pandas here i think so it works so to check which libraries that you have already installed you could type in pip list and then you could see that we have streamlit installed we have scikit-learn installed and we already have pandas installed okay we're good to go now let's run the Jupyter notebook again Okay, close the other ones. And now let's open up the bioactivity prediction app dot IPYNB. Click on cells and just run all. So it will run sequentially one by one, probably taking some time to perform this. Wait one moment. Okay, so it has already removed some redundant features and it's currently building the model. So I'll provide you the link to this particular tutorial in the video description. So wait a moment for the model to be built. And so at the end, you should see the PKL file. Right here, we will save it out here. PKL. So model is being built right now. Right. Okay. We don't have matplotlib, but that's okay because we don't need to visualize it at the moment. So let's run this. Run. Run. So import pickle and then dump it out, and then we should be able to have this file. Let's quit this by going back to the terminal, and you want to quit it by typing in Control plus C at the same time. And this will ask whether you want to shut down the notebook server. So type in yes or Y. Do it quicker. Control C and then Y. Enter. So now it's shut down. We could close it. We could close it and then head over back. Let's LS to list the file. And then let's have a look here. We have created this pickle file and now we're good to go. And let's run the application.py. So type in streamlet run app.py enter allow there you go the application has been launched successfully so you could repeat the same procedure as i've shown you in this video for other tutorial like for example you could do the same for let's go to the repo see what else do we have we have model performance app and so the procedures will be the same so you're going to create a conda environment for the first time and so subsequent time you could just activate it and then you could download the requirement.txt using the wget function and then you could pip install from the requirement.txt and then after that you could download the zip file content by using the wget function afterwards you could just run streamlit run app.py and that's it that will launch the final application and so if you find the video helpful please support the channel by smashing the like button sharing it with your friends and turning on notifications and as always the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey